There was recently a study published on vitamin C therapy and uh, cervical cancer uh, treatment. So cervical cancer treatment usually consists of two different types of chemo agents. The most commonly prescribed are carboplatin and paclitaxel. And so what's interesting is to look at strategies that can augment particularly the, the platinum-based chemotherapy, so uh, carboplatin or cisplatin. And like I said, in cervical cancer, often it's carboplatin. And cancer cells of the, especially cancer cells of the gynecologic origin, um, that could be ovarian cancer, cervical cancer, endometrial cancer, um, they tend to become eventually platinum resistant. And once those cancers become platinum resistant, it's, it's a kind of a fork in the road. We've, we've really, you know, the platinum chemotherapies are often the, the best types of chemos to use for treatment of these types of cancers when chemotherapy is required. So once we hit that stage where there's resistance, then we've, you know, we've lost a very valuable treatment. So as long as the cancer, tre cancer cells are responding to the platinum, then we know that we can continue to utilize this therapy and continue to derive benefit. So a lot of you know, my focus in working with patients is to determine what we can do to actually prevent that, that platinum resistance from developing. One of the strategies is with vitamin C therapy. Um, one of the other strategies is also with local regional hyperthermia. Now with vitamin C therapy, there's actually been a study that's, uh, that was recently published. It was a preclinical study, so not a clinical human study, but using humans, human cervical cancer cell lines. And what they identified is that when the uh, cervical cancer cells were treated with a platinum-based treatment like carboplatin and augmented with vitamin C in a pharmacologic dose, so pharmacologic doses of vitamin C are those doses of vitamin C that can only be achieved through intravenous infusion. So it's a higher dose of vitamin C. It's not something that's obtainable from, say, using vitamin C orally. So with these pharmacologic doses of ascorbate or uh, ascorbic acid, vitamin C, it all sort of means the same thing. It was actually found that the cancer cells were, were more responsive to the uh, cervical cancer killing effects of the platinum-based chemotherapy. So there was a synergy and an additive effect. What was really interesting is there wasn't additional toxicity. So adding in the vitamin C didn't make the platinum treatment less effective. It certainly didn't make it more, uh, more toxic, but it did, it did reduce the resistance factor and it did improve the cancer killing effect of the platinum-based chemotherapy.